of these brides' biggest secrets is that sometimes she pads her bra. Which one is it? Well, her husband's about to find out, and so are you, because it's time to play the newlywed game. to the newlywed game. Today you're going to meet three great couples and we'll discover and they'll discover how well they know each other. Here's how it works. I ask them questions about each other, their relationship. Correct answers earns points. Couple with the most points wins a fabulous second clean. Let's meet our first couple, shall we? She's a 28-year-old preschool teacher. He's a 26-year-old systems operator. They've been married seven months. Please meet Vivian and Michael Harvey. Glad they're well coordinated today. Right? <laughs> Next, she's a 37-year-old homemaker. He's a 23-year-old warehouse clerk. They've been married eight months. Please meet Robin and Josh Potts. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Finally, she's a 27-year-old reporter, and he's a 27-year-old logistics officer for the U.S. Marine Corps. They've been married for eight months. Weeks, please meet Jocelyn and Malcolm Palmore. <laughs> I got it right. I was thinking about your last name. Then. <laughs> How about a big round of applause for all of our couples? <laughs> now, <laughs> Malcolm, there's a few Marines out there today. <laughs> We took your husbands aside and we videotaped them. Now, first, Jocelyn, I'm going to come to you and I want you to look at this monitor and take a look at what Malcolm had to say. Oh, man. The subject that's off limits for my wife to criticize is. And we stopped the tape because if you can finish that sentence very specifically, you'll get 10 points. His cooking? Let's see what he had to say. My hair. Your hair. Well, why, why, why would you criticize his hair anyway? Mm, he brushes it all the time. I'm like, what are you brushing? It's only like this long. <laughs> so she's always complaining about how short it is. Oh, yeah. It looks great short. Yeah, That's but look. Marines like it really short. Yeah. All right. Robin, let's look at Josh. The one thing I do in public that my wife really hates is... Can I ask you to do the same thing and finish this sentence? Throws the cigarette butts? Throws the cigarette butts. Okay. Belch. <laughs> oh, you throw your cigarette butts more than you belch. You're, what, don't? <laughs> I don't? Yeah, you, why, why do you belch? I love to get a reaction out of her. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> That's good. Vivian, let's look at Mike. The household chore my wife should not trust me with is... Cooking. Okay, cooking. Cleaning the litter box. <laughs> well, why can't you be trusted doing that? Yeah. My wife breeds and shows Persian kittens, so they're all over the house. And I just don't want to deal with it, so I let it be her problem. The only time I'll do it is when she's pregnant. You're more, you're more dangerous in the kitchen than you are in the litter box. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, you it's, your, you it's your turn. Let's look at Vivian. I love it when my husband touches my... Oh. <laughs> Her butt. Her butt. Tush. Tush. Butt. Tush. Okay, that's a match. <laughs> Josh, it's your turn. Let's watch Ron. The thing I love to do that my husband hates is... She says the thing you love to do... That she loves to do that you hate. Snagging. Nagging? Yeah. Well, you're, you're looking nagging. All right, let's see. Decorate everything with happy sunflowers. <laughs> oh. oh. It's right there, too. Yeah, it was right there, the happy sunflowers. It just, why, why don't you like that? Like, on the refrigerator and stuff? Oh, she got them on her dashboard. Uh huh. And oh, I, take the, I take the car, I get funny looks. Okay. <laughs> guys driving around got. Total florist shop on his dashboard. <laughs> All right, that's tough to take, yeah. <laughs> Malcolm, let's look at Jocelyn. The stupidest place my husband ever wanted to make love was... The <laughs> stupidest place you ever wanted to make love. 
Outside on the balcony? Outside on the balcony? <laughs> All right. In a swimming pool. <laughs> Is it on the balcony? <laughs> <laughs> He's mentioned that before, too. Okay. All right. All right. Stick around, folks. We're going to find out more about these couples right after this. <laughs> To the newlywed game. Malcolm, uh, I heard that Jocelyn was calling you very, very early in your relationship. Yeah, even before we met, actually. She was calling you before you met? Yes. Can well, you explain that? Well, we, uh, she saw me at a football game uh, about 10 years ago, and uh, apparently she was interested in me, and I uh, did a little research and uh, found out what my phone number was, and she had called my house and hung up on my mom once before we actually even met, so... <laughs> So if there's information I need to find out, I do so. <laughs> yeah, and you've got the sources to do it then, right? There you go. Now, you guys, Robin and Josh, you put a lot of thought into your wedding, didn't you? <laughs> a lot of preparation, right? Well, actually, one evening we were having beer and pizza, and I just looked at Josh and said, let's go get married. So we jumped in the car and drove to Las Vegas, and we were married the next morning. Now, Michael and Vivian, you uh, your first date was kind of unexpected. Some weird stuff happened. Uh, yeah, the cat <laughs> caught on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, well you know when doesn't the cat catch fire? Uh, we were having this beautiful dinner, and a uh, big white fluffy Persian goes walking by, and the tail catches the candle on the table, and the cat's tail is on fire. Mm. <laughs> I have to grab it and like roll it on the ground and put it out. Little <laughs> <laughs> black tail. <laughs> That's an unforgettable moment. Did you take the litter box? And then, uh, you, no, you don't go near that, do you? No, <laughs> no litter box. <laughs> well, let me recap the scores for you. The Palmores down there, you have no points. Oh. That's going to change. You're tied with the pots over here in the middle, but... <laughs> No points. <laughs> the Harveys, you're in first place with 10 big points. <laughs> now, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to ask each one of you a multiple choice question. Now, it's up to you to tell me which of the three answers I give you, your mate already said. Every correct answer wins 10 points. I'm going to start with you, Vivian. Which of the following did Michael say best describes the way you sneeze? Darling, deafening, or disgusting? Deafening. What'd you say, Michael? Disgusting. <laughs> I, I, I don't suppose you could imitate that for us. Oh, well, it required you to. Know, Probably not. Well, I can try. No, yeah, can. please try. It's, it's like a lot of whining. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> when you wake up in the morning, did Josh say that you're frisky, feisty, or frightening? Oh, frisky. It was not frisky, it was in fact. <laughs> what did you say, Josh? Frightening. Oh, Frightening. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in my sexual prime. <laughs> and apparently he's a little frightened by it. <laughs> All right, no, that's not what I'm frightened by. <laughs> yeah. Jocelyn. Did Malcolm say that the last time you raised your voice, it was in anger, in fun, or in ecstasy? In fun. No, Malcolm, what did you say? In ecstasy. <laughs> and it wasn't in a swimming pool, was it? No. no. Malcolm, it's your turn. What piece of exercise equipment does Jocelyn think that you need the most? A bicep builder, a stomach cruncher, or a butt master? It's got to be a stomach cruncher. That's what it is. <laughs> good, good shape, doesn't huh? need that much. Though. No, okay. Josh, we asked Robin what she thinks you spend far too little time doing. Reading, working out, or worshipping her? <laughs> Probably worshipping her. <laughs> Michael, 
The last time you made love, did Vivian say that her eyes were open, closed, or staring blankly at the ceiling? <laughs> closed. No. Vivian? There was no comment. <laughs> I think she said they were open, Michael. Oh, okay. Because no, she bored. Open? I was bored. Yeah. <laughs> Close. Oh. the newlywed game and guess what so far we have a three-way tie everybody's got ten points. and guys before the show we had some time to talk to your wives they revealed some things about you about your relationship now as i reveal each one of their secrets if you think it's your wife that i'm talking about i want you to hold up that sign and i want to see it right now and you're going to get my attention by yelling out that's my wife all right, very good, very good. Now, if you're right, you get 10 points. But if you're wrong, you're going to lose 10 points. And only the first one up can win or lose. You ready? When you compliment her about looking beautiful, she thinks you're lying. That's my wife. No, no, that wasn't. Oh. Who was that? <laughs> yeah, that was you, Robin. Why do you think I'm lying when I tell you you're beautiful? Because, like, when I have no makeup on and I'm a mess, I go, how could you possibly think I look beautiful right now? But I love it when you do that. Oh. <laughs> you know you're in the doghouse when she gives you the silent treatment. That's my wife. wife. That was your wife, Malcolm. <laughs> her biggest secret is that sometimes she pads her bra. That's my wife. <laughs> yes, <it was. laughs> TV show. Shopping. Going to the store. <laughs> going to the store. Oh, I'm not. I just can't. <laughs> she says it always cheers her up when you talk baby talk. That's my wife. <laughs> no? No, that wasn't. That wasn't. Who was that? Oh, oh now. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what did you sound like, Michael? I don't know. I'm usually asleep when I'm doing it, apparently. <laughs> She says the lamest thing you do to put her in the mood is jump into bed naked, ready to go. <laughs> you guys don't know if you get naked and jump in the bed? Who was that? <laughs> I did it with you, Michael. <laughs> I think you jump into bed naked, don't you? <laughs> <sighs> what are you going to do? Change on this? <laughs> she loves it when you talk dirty. It's my wife. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, look, the guy's so cool. That's my wife. Well, <laughs> this is the last one. She says there isn't a single erotic fantasy that you've suggested she hasn't been willing to do. That's my wife. <laughs> yes. That's right. I'm a little confused now. That would include in the swimming pool, then. Well, we'll keep that up. Well, okay, okay, all right. We'll be right back and find out just a little bit more right after that. <laughs> We're back with more of the newlywed game. At the end of this round, one of these couples is off to a fabulous second honeymoon. Ellen, tell us where they're going. I'd love to, Gary. Today's winning newlyweds are going to the Bahamas. They'll spend a week at the Bahama Princess Resort and Casino on beautiful Grand Bahama Island. This resort has it all, Gary. Tennis, swimming, an exciting casino, and international entertainment from Bahamas Resort and Casino. I love that guy in there that's going like this, next to the swimming pool, you notice. Know. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a score right now.
The Palmars are in first place with 30 points. The Potts, you're not far behind, you've got 20 points. The Hardys, you got a little catching up to do, you don't have any points. But let me tell you what's going to happen. You've got plenty of time here, because in this round, anything can happen. I'm going to give your wives a choice. It'll be something like a plain or pepperoni, right on time or unfashionably late. She's going to hold up the card that she thinks best applies to you guys. Now, the first one is worth 10 points, and it's going to go all the way up to 100 points. So things can change very quickly. Are you ready? This is for the Bahamas. For 10 points, cookies or cake? Ladies, quickly. Michael. Cookies. Cookies it is. <laughs> Josh. Cookies. Cake, she said. Cake. Malcolm. Cookies. Cookies. Very good. For 20 points, serious or goofy? Start with you, Josh. Goofy. Goofy. Goofy it is. Malcolm. Get serious. Serious. Very good. Michael, far too goofy. Goofy, indeed. For 30 points, Muscle Man or Pee Wee? <laughs> Malcolm? Muscle Man. I knew you'd say that. Michael? Muscle Man. Muscle Man, indeed. Josh? Muscle Man. Yes. For 40 points, Smoocher or Pecker? Michael? Smoocher. Smoocher, yes. Josh. Smoocher. Yes, Smoocher, it is, yes. Malcolm. Pecker. Smoocher. For 50 points, king of the castle or servant to the queen. Josh. Servant to the queen. Yes. Yes. Malcolm. Servant to the queen. She said you're king of the castle. And Michael? King of the castle. Yes, very good. Hey. Now this one is for a big Steve points. You just can't control yourself, can you? You guys have really come back. For 60 points, foreplay fun or over and done? Malcolm? Over and done. Very good. You got 60 points right there. Michael? Foreplay fun. Foreplay fun. Very good. You got foreplay fun. Foreplay fun. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at things here. Right now, the Palmores, you now have 150. Things have changed a little bit. The Harveys have come back. You're now in second place with 210. First place now are the Pots with 220. But as you know, this one is for 100 points, so anybody can win. All right? Are you ready? This is for the trip to the Bahamas for 100 points. Sexy and sassy or lusty and nasty? Gonna start with you, Malcolm. This would put you in first place. Sexy and sassy. Yes! All right. right now, the Palmores are in first place, so Michael, you could take over first place if you get this round. Sexy and sassy. Okay, right now, you're holding on to that trip to the Bahamas. So it's up to you, Josh. If you get this right, you and your lovely wife are going to the Bahamas. Otherwise, it's going to be Vivian and Michael. Sexy and sassy. She said lusty and nasty, which means the Harveys are going to the Bahamas! <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> and you were so worried, though, did not. Congratulations! I want to thank all of our couples. Come on, join us over here. Thank you all for watching. Thank you both for coming. We'll see you next time.